The Intel Research Labs were a research division of Intel. The organization was known for most of its life as Intel Research, but towards the end of its life the name Intel Research was redefined to refer to all research performed in Intel, including work done outside the labs. At its peak, there were six Intel Research Labs. The four university labs were each hosted by a partner university, while the two on-site labs were embedded inside normal Intel sites. Intel Research Berkeley was hosted by UC Berkeley, Intel Research Seattle by the University of Washington, Intel Research Pittsburgh by Carnegie Mellon University, and Intel Research Cambridge by the University of Cambridge in the United Kingdom. In addition the People and Practices Research Lab performed ethnographic research at Intel's Hillsborough, Oregon campus, and one at Intel's Santa Clara, California headquarters. History Intel Research as it was, then known, was created in 2000, under the leadership of David L. Tenenhaus. Tenenhaus aimed to model his new research organization based on the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, where he had previously been director of the Information Technology Office. Tenenhaus promoted, "...proactive computing." where he envisioned users would interact with surrounding things and things would be able to have digital life. In 2001, Intel Research adopted an open collaborative research model. In this model, Intel researchers worked directly with professors and students at the host university and shared knowledge freely. The contract with the host university stated that all intellectual property IP that resulted from a research project was jointly owned by both parties. Each lab was led by a professor from the host university, both with the goal of building deep connections to the university and avoiding any conflicts or misunderstandings between the lab and the university. Lab directors included David Culler, Eric Brewer, Joseph M. Hellerstein, Mahadev Satyanarayanan, Todd Maury, Gaetano Borriello, James Landay, and David Wetherill. Due to the open nature of the research agreement, the labs focused on areas that were not core to Intel's business, so that Intel did not need to control the intellectual property. Instead the labs worked or topics such as ubiquitous computing and sensor networks which might help create demand for aligned Intel products. In December 2005, Tenenhaus left to head A9.com, and Andrew A. Chen, a former professor with high-performance computing background at UC San Diego took over his position. Chen left Intel in May 2010 to return to academia as a professor at the University of Chicago. Justin Ratner, Chief Technology Office of Intel, then took over Intel Labs and in addition, several Vice Presidents of Intel Labs were appointed. The Cambridge Lab closed in October 2006. The other three labs were shut down in January 2011. Instead, Intel announced it would directly fund research, with its first grant forming the Intel Science and Technology Center for Visual Computing at Stanford University, led by Pat Hanrahan. Topic. Projects In most cases, projects were done in partnership with a host university. Some examples Wireless Identification and Sensing Platform WISP, Claytronics Tinios NESC Urban Computing Prefix Hashtree PlanetLab